Hello. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to test your carrier ECM inducer motor. As a homeowner, if you have inducer motor that is not running, you want to know whether the problem is from the inducer motor or from the control board, furnace control board. So if you know how to test the inducer motor without the control board, then you will know which part you need to replace. So I have power supply and flip the switch with this power supply. Okay, basically I measured the, the wires, the voltage uh, orange, it's not used for this testing. Uh, brown is 12 volts DC, yellow is 5 volts DC, and then white is 120 volts neutral, and black is 120 volts hot. Green is ground. Uh, green can work with this uh, brown and yellow for low voltage. So after this setup, you need an uh, adapter with both 12 and 5. So the 12 volts goes to brown and 5 volts goes to the yellow wire. And then the, the negative side go to the ground, go to the green color. So flip the switch and then start it. For this test, we are going to need a DC power adapter uh, we need two voltage one is 12 volts one is 5 volts you can buy one adapter with both of these two voltage output or you can buy separate adapter and make the negative side connected together as a common so you're gonna have two DC output and you can get this adapter pretty cheap from like uh, uh, used stuff a uh, store like uh, from thrift store or value village something uh, for you know two three dollars uh, for me I used the one that is from a, a Cisco power adapter, which has both voltage, uh, 12 and 5. So it's much easier. I just need one adapter. Another way you can get these two voltages from a computer desktop power supply. So basically, if you have a working power supply you connect the the green wire on the motherboard from the motherboard side i think it's number four pin green wire and with the jumper from green to black the power supply should run and you'll get the yellow wire 
for 12 volts and red wire for 5 volts and you can use both of these two wires to test your ECM inducer motor. Let's start it. Okay, this is another one. Adapter. Power. And then switch. Turn it on. And also, when you measure the control board, the orange, sorry, the brown wire from the control board to the inducer motor always be 12 volts. And the yellow wire from the control board, uh, it is pretty like uh, around 11 something when there's no heat call and when the heat call uh, the voltage drop uh, from 11 and down to even lower than 3 volts so if you have this voltage from the control board probably your board is still good and something wrong with the inducer motor uh, this is another way to test it. Thank you.